When I first came to ARMS, I was pretty much on the verge of perhaps suicide, maybe. And I say maybe because I never believed in that, but I felt so alone and so broken and so devastated that had it not been for the ARMS group, I'm almost certain I wouldn't be sitting here today. He obviously was safe to me in the beginning, and you know, he was my person I had waited for for so long and I shared things with him, you know, all my personal issues and to have those then turned around and used against you. The very issues that you disclosed in safety to somebody, thinking this was just finally a safe man. Nobody gets married um, to Prince Charming expecting it to, to be hurtful. One of the biggest benefits of ARMS for a woman who is especially at the point of crisis that my friend was at is immediately uh, moving into the program to the Her Journey classes there is the spiritual component that reminds a woman she's not alone. I think the hardest thing um, about addressing the reality of what was going on was the loss of a dream. I just really began to pray that there would be some way for my friend to get to just one of the ARMS meetings, one of the Her Journey classes, because of what I had heard already. I knew I was hearing from her in our conversations. Um, I was hearing the same things I had heard described from some of uh, the other participants, some of the same experiences. And I knew that if she could just get to one, that she would look around the room and despite how afraid she might be and how overwhelming and scary, she would hear a voice from another woman that she would recognize. People don't know what's available. There's nothing available out there for people that, not even in the churches, you don't have anybody to turn to. And that's the truth, you don't. So I was so grateful to find out about ARMS. Finally, there is a place that women can come and feel supported and know that they're going to get help in the journey of domestic abuse and that other women are there who totally understand what they are going through. I do believe that having a faith-based program um, and the faith-based community addressing domestic violence is very important. They're reaching a population that is, is greatly underserved. In this place, you embrace me as I am Here without fear Domestic violence is all about power and control. There has to be that peace that helps prevent it from occurring again. You can't really break the cycle of violence unless there's a peace in there uh, that gives you know a new structure, new thoughts, new ideas on how to handle those aggressive thoughts. Um, and not act out upon them. And I think that's one of the services that, that ARMS provides that, that the police cannot. Regularly, clients that are involved in the ARMS program are talking about the information that they're, they're learning. And as that accountability increases, they are grateful for the opportunity to participate in ARMS, for the knowledge that they're receiving, and how it is really positively affecting um, their families. The most helpful thing that I found out about Her Journey's class was that how they receive you and the support and the prayers. You don't feel alone and at that time in your life you really do feel alone. One of the most wonderful changes I've seen in my friends since she attended the Her Journey classes is just the return of her willingness to dream again. I get so excited about a half an hour before the class starts and that energy level just soars as these women come in the door and I'm excited to see them. We love on them and it is just an awesome privilege to be a part of this whole ARMS program.
fact, research has shown us that a coordinated community response is our best effort to lower recidivism in our community. And batterers intervention programs, including ARMS, um, provides excellent trainings for us, education and knowledge, and helps us fill in those gaps so that we can provide the best services to victims of domestic violence and also the best services to rehabilitate the offenders of domestic violence. I think they're reducing my workload. I think by uh, providing good ethical structure to allow people to uh, recognize choices uh, that they can make and positive choices that they can make for themselves in the future will ultimately uh, reduce my workload because you'll make victims safer, you'll allow them to provide for their children better in a more wholesome uh, way than they had been doing before. Ultimately, I think more abusers will be held accountable as, as well and hopefully recognize better behaviors for themselves. And that reduces recidivism, reduces future assaults, uh, and makes our community safer. And so that's why I appreciate the work that ARMS does. I repeatedly hear positive things about ARMS and the work that they're doing. Any type of education that you can give a victim about domestic violence and help her understand what she's going through in her relationship makes her stronger, more self-sufficient, and hopefully also will hold the offender accountable down the road. Without ARMS, if this program had not been available for my friend, um, I often wonder uh, you know, what would have happened and how many years this might have continued for her. And I think that is one of the biggest blessings is um, for women, even for women who have been in a situation for many, many years, there's always a point in time where you can choose uh, to go another direction and to walk towards freedom and healing. And even if it's been 20 years, arms still is a doorway you can walk through and um, is a chance for a new life. So when I think of ARMS, it's like literally keys. I just keep saying that because it's keys to doors that walls and patterns and it's such a tool that God has used in my life and I know is using everywhere. It is a privilege to be a part of the ARMS program. I have found over the eight or nine years that I've been a part of it that this program is one that is based on integrity and an, on honesty and there is a commitment level first to our God but then a commitment level to each one of the leaders um, or from the leaders that they want to serve and they want to be a part of this. We are very committed to the women and to the men and to the families that we serve. I feel like it sets people free. It's, it's the arms of Christ. It's it's him accepting people, loving people, encouraging people. And I think the thing, too, is that they don't tell you what to do. They don't dictate you. They empower you to change some things in your life. But, but, but I did it. I'm the one that actually had to do it. I had to decide if I wanted this legacy to continue for my children or if I wanted to stop it. There is real healing going on week after week, month after month.